We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Tap. I am that I am, some call me Haru, your modern monk, your cannabis fitness strategist, back at it again, here with you, here for you, live and direct at you, and it's been a minute, <laughs> it's been a minute, so it's been some things that we've been kind of clearing up, taking care of, internet is tripping, so I'm not even going to get on the internet live, boom, get out of there. But I'm just going to get busy on some, um, I just want to get a little deeper into this conversation that I'm going to be talking about today. We're going to be going through uh, episode 129. We're going to be talking about conspiracy versus statistics, right? So I'm live on Instagram, but I'm not live on video so I'll just record that, take that out, do what I got to do, but keep it pushing. Um, tune in to, tune in, tune up. Shout out to you. You are the Gym Podcast Show, live and direct, coming at you. Had a few back episodes, some throwbacks on you. Um, now I wanted to take it to the next level with the new year, 2022. Uh, happy New Year to y'all. Let me get in my introduction. You are the Gym Podcast Shows. I want to give thank yous and shout outs to everybody who's actually been participating, everybody who's been listening, even you haters. I love you too. Um, thank you for just giving all that other and that goodness and that gracious. Let us know about the podcast show. It's available through iTunes, Apple, Spotify, Google Podcasts, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I just cut off, so I'm no longer messing with Twitter. Instagram may be one of those, too, as well as Facebook. I'm looking to cut all these social media um, connections due to what's going on, even though the availability. If you really bout it, bout it about this show, you are the gym. We talk about social issues. We talk about social economics. We talk about economics, finances, getting your health right, getting your understanding right, living a more quality and better life style. Um, billions in form per day keeps the stupidity away. I said billions per form. Billions informed. You hear me? Informed, not uninformed, informed, knowing what the fuck is going on here within your reality. Shout out to my sponsors, my wellness and health, Dr. Boz Moreno for Method Moreno. Um, his website is Dr. Boz Moreno at XYZ dot XYZ as well as Dr. Boz Moreno at dot com. Um, you can email my brother at support at method Moreno at gmail dot com. That's support at method Moreno at gmail dot com. You can phone the brother at four zero four Four six two zero five seven one. For discount code, you can put in the Modern Monk fifteen percent off, and that's all products and services. I got a new product I'm about to release here shortly in the next week or so, probably the next two weeks. I'm gonna be releasing this new product that not necessarily new. It's actually been available out there. But those of you who's actually serious about your body, really want to take your body to the next level, your mind. Spirit, spirit and soul, all that aspect of it will help you get back your life looking 40 more years younger than your original age. <laughs> um, shout out to my next sponsor, Lifestyles Barber Academy. You can reach the physical building at 33720 9th Avenue South Suite 2. Federal Way, Washington, 98003 USA. That's Lifestyle Barber Academy. And the website is lifestylebarberacademy.com. Lifestylebarberacademy.com. Email is lifestylebarberacademy at 2017 at gmail.com. That's Lifestyle Barber Academy. 
at gmail.com. Phone number is 253-517-5345. That's 253-517-5345. Business hours are from 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And with my third sponsor, the Fitness and Mental Toughness, that brother Haru, the modern monk, you are the gym body and you are the gym. Website at youarethegymlive.com as well as youarethegym.com. Shout out to all the viewers and the respect of the views showing in here via every media, social media, Instagram, whatever the case may be. However you're connecting with the brother, we connect him with you. As well as my email, you can reach me at my email at youarethegym at gmail.com. That's youarethegym at gmail.com. You can phone me. Please text 206-659-6382 for any questions related to your health, your fitness, your your lifestyle. What you want to do if you want to take control or take more aspect, take more responsibility, take more accountability for your life and your actions stop asking for fucking permission that's another thing i'm tired of people doing stop asking for permission go out there and make it happen do do your due diligence do your homework you feel me and go out and do your hand of your business like i said i got them tees for sale t-shirts for 27 dollars free shipping and handling I also got some new, I got some other new stuff I got going on that I really want to share with you guys, but it's not that time yet, so we're going to, we're going to get there. Um, So, let's jump into this episode. I know I've been missing incognito for the last couple of weeks, but it's been a hectic, it's been very challenging Especially with all this shit going on with this coronavirus and echovirus and xenovirus and tuny viruses and people tripping, shooting motherfuckers everywhere, cops shooting people, cops getting shot 24-7. <laughs> you know, there ain't nothing funny about it, but it is t- kind of funny because it's like nobody want to take no responsibility for nothing. We always got some fucking excuse for everything. Shout out to the viewers as well coming on here live on Instagram, just getting it in, talking about episode 120. Nine. I'm messing with my mic. I shouldn't even be messing with it. But it's interesting. We're going to talk about conspiracies versus statistics. And I don't mean it by verse. And I'm just giving you an understanding and a foundation of what's going on with these particular words we always using. You know what I'm saying? Because throughout the communities, you're always hearing this conspiracy theories, conspiracy theories or statistics or statistics, right? They even got a class. You can even take a class in school statistics. I don't know how liable or how analytical it is because it's basically you're you're basically taking statistics on certain elements that I don't I don't know if it's important to the people or certain things because usually with statistics you usually asking questions right even with conspiracy you're asking certain questions kind of putting things out in front what's actually there what's actually reasonable what is going on with the the psychological ratifications when you when you when these terms come up when i say conspiracy or when i say statistics when i say theory what comes to your mind you know what i'm saying what literally comes to your mind or Here's another thought, if it even come to your fucking mind, because the understanding is we we have forgotten how to think. We have forgotten how to engage into reality, engage into what is actually going on around us in our environment. You know what I'm saying? And as certain measures, I think as certain measures, we have left our we have left the moral code. We have left our ethic codes. We have even left our values. But then we sit up here. We would believe some fucking guy coming talking about some spaceship flying up in here doing this, doing that. Some fake ass Marvel shit. 
you know, and that's what's funny about it. How do think about this? How do we push these particular movies when you, when you think about it? Think about this. All these hero type movies we push, right? Where it's all and it's all fictitious. A lot of the stuff is fictitious. They're doing all these amazing backflips and neck cuts and slicing people and all this other stuff and it's like we have failed to really and I get it I get it I get it I I know we need entertainment we're human right <laughs> we're sentient beings we need some type of entertainment and I get that but when your entertainment becomes your reality then we start really talking about okay now is he really talking about conspiracies is he really talking about statistics is he talking theories let's let's get to the bottom of these issues Let's start building a foundation. And that's what this podcast is really about. You are the GM. You are the action. You are the attitude. You are the responsibility. You are the accountability. That's the purpose here. Taking on that responsibility. Doing what you need to do to get your body right. You feel me? Your immune system. Not even just your immune system. Every aspect of your body part. Stop always supplementing shit out. Make it understanding of a holistic. That's the whole key thing here. Holistically, everything is holistic. Everything has a part. Everything matters, as the brother would say. Russell, I mean, Russell Wilson. Yeah, Russell Wilson, the football player, he said that. Everything matters, buddy. No. (laughs) Russell Walters, if you go look him up, you'll be probably surprised of the the knowledge and the education that this brother had. Um enacted or injected within the people or within the mindset he was talking about a lot of resonance a lot of energy you know what i'm saying because we have the energy it's about where are we directing that energy and who are we giving that energy to because that's another thing when we're talking about conspiracies when we're talking about statistics so now let's dive into this episode 129 shout out to you if you're still with me so I Google searched it. It's interesting because Google search it is like a one billion, <laughs> one billion eight hundred and seventy million uh, actually hits search results. So every 54 seconds, that word conspiracy is being uh, actually looked up. See, now it was funny because when you look at like 2007, when the Zeitgeist series first came out, and if you haven't seen the Zeitgeist series, you need an ass whooping because basically Peter Joseph was hitting you. He was breaking it down back then, not even prior to that. We're talking before them guys. We're talking even Jordan Maxwell, uh, Manly P. Hall, uh, Bill Cooper, William Cooper, the behold, behold of the Pale Horse, all this information was there you know what i'm saying all this information has been we we talk about conspiracy even that crazy ass motherfucker alex jones you 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 can't discount the motherfucker because he actually gave us some some really foundation bohemian grove you know the club 300 all these different uh one percenter organizations or that that we so call call conspiracy theories, it's all coming to about. We seeing the shit. We're seeing the effects of what they have been doing throughout the years. That's what I I don't understand about how we don't even question the shit. We already know the government's been corrupted. You know what I'm saying? They shown that through history. They showed that to keep it real relevant with you. 9-11 was just exact that example. They was taking your rights from you then. But you wasn't paying attention to that because you thinking some kind of Taliban or whatever. Always They always try to make an outside entity, a foreign entity. But the foreign entity is right here in the house. Think about it. Even even the so-called becoming a national or becoming a a U.S. citizen is more easier than other countries. Hands down. Yeah, you might have to wait a few years, but most of the process is pretty easy. Hence why you get all these crooked people coming, moving over here, living over here amongst the people. Then all of a sudden they they done blown up. Then you find out their history, what was going on. But it's not a conspiracy. It's always some things that are connected, always some truth in that, always some truth. That's another thing, too. I don't think people really pay attention when we talk in this word conspiracy. 
conspiracy actually has a lot of truth in there too. It's just about ciphering and getting away from the bullshit. Right. Just like your 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 news. You really believe your news is giving you real news. They're not giving you no real news. <laughs> they're give, oh, they're, oh, like they say, fact checkers. Who's the fact checkers when the fact checkers are the same entity that's actually doing giving you the so-called facts? If the facts are really re- relevant to our situations. <laughs> now, let's get let's get more defined up in this. What's conspiracy? We're going to go into this word conspiracy a little bit. <clears throat> Give me a few ticks. Give me a few ticks. I'm going to go into conspiracy. So I'm using our lovely um, company. We know that has been so great and awesome. And that's been, you know, following us on every little search we do. Um, what else he does? They, they, um. They know every everything you about to want to buy or find or whatever the case may be. We call them old Google. Yeah, it came out in, what, 2002? It was like, yeah, we're going to make a search engine and we're going to kill everybody in the industry with a, and, and, and give you new, all these algorithms. The algorithms are going to know everything about you from your health to everything that exists about you. And then we call it artificial intelligence. <laughs> so, let's look at the definition of conspiracy. A secret plan by a group to do something unlawful or harmful, right? <laughs> the action of plotting or conspiring. Now, we can go back years and years and years even with the I mean, what come into mind right now is um, Napoleon Bonaparte. Now, I talked about this years, a, a couple episodes back, but it's kind of funny how you got this man, Napoleon Bonaparte, once upon a time, one of the biggest superheroes, <laughs> if you want to put it in that perspective. Napoleon Bonaparte, when you look at when you look at the attributes and when you look at his story, he shouldn't have lived. That dude shouldn't have been dead. They shouldn't have killed him the first time they the first time they so-called isolated him on the island. Huh? Isolated him on an island. This dude came back kind of like this Donald Trump situation. Donald Trump getting his stuff together and going to try to come back for another term, right? <laughs> Same situation. They shouldn't have killed that dude. Napoleon Bonaparte shouldn't have been dead the first time, the first round. I don't care. We may agree with some of the things he have done, you know, from uh, Louisiana to all these other different purchases he had did. And uh, I wouldn't even say purchases because they basically been taken over. They just been overriding all these different people, countries, however you want to look at it. The thing is, how the fuck was this guy even able to live? Come back, re- reunite his people, put them back on the pedestal for a minute, and then all of a sudden he dying later, you know, of natural causes. <laughs> See, and then 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 another conspiracy comes to mind, even with the situation with this um, Abraham Lincoln situation, that story in itself. You know, they knew they knew exactly what was going to happen. They knew he was going to die. He knew he was going to die, probably kind of like Martin Luther King. It's a whole bunch of these conspiracies that's coming along. The Osama bin Laden. Huh? <laughs> All this Saddam Hussein, all these different issues that was going on that we claim that we claim that these guys were in the wrong or they was doing this. They was doing that. Nobody even knows what happened to Hitler. Nobody truly know what happened to Hitler. You see what I'm saying? Supposedly they all fled, fled the, the fled the scene. So nobody really know what's going on. But we all got these conspiracy theories, right? An action or plotting or conspiring. OK, so we'll go into that. Then we'll hit up. Like I said, do your own due diligence, do your own research, do your own homework. Now, I'm going to go into these other two terms that I've been using. Then we're going to break them down a little bit more. Um, so let me go into statistics. From our handy dandy Google calendar or Google dictionary, it says. <clears throat> 
the practice of science of collect- collecting and analyzing numerical data in large quantities, especially for the purpose of interfering proportions in a whole from those in a representative sample. Okay. Then it says a fact or a piece of data from a study of a large quantity of a numerical data. An event or a person regarded as no more than a piece of data used to suggest inappropriately or in personal approach. Mm-hmm. So we're going to be tapping back into these, this term statistics, statistics and statisticals. Okay. So now we're going to drop into that other word that we throw around a lot. Theory. <laughs> And, you know, we know um, who come to mind is Einstein. He comes to mind. He comes to mind. He, he always come to mind. The MC3 square, right? Or 3MC square or relativity that we um, so-called um, put on a pedestal, right? <clears throat> Even though he always, the one thing I do give credit to, he's always saying, use your imagination. Be creative. And that's the thing we haven't been doing as much. We have been allowing other things or other tools besides ourselves to really engage ourselves. Like, for example, our phones, right? Even though, yeah, they're learning tools. You can use them, right? But don't have them thinking for you like we usually have been doing. Like the <laughs> So let's get into this word theory, theories. A, sen- a, a supposition or a system of ideas intended to explain something, especially one based on general principles, independent of a thing to be explained. A set of principles of which the practice of an activity is based. An idea used to account for a situation or justify a course of action. <laughs> Now, we know we have created this, this known um, field known as science, right? Okay, we have religion, we have these different um, aspects of appropriation, as we would say. <clears throat> now, science have been interesting. Science have been giving us a lot of innovations, Okay, signs have been taken and it has been given and it has been uh, really destroying as well. I mean, look at the technology with the atomic bomb and all this Hiroshima and all these other um, scientific breakthroughs. But then at the same time, how we use them. And it's funny, too, because when you even watching the Marvels, all the Marvels are dealing with is saving you, saving so-called humanity, even though I think it's our our ego. <laughs> Our ego, as we create these particular aliens and outside entities to so-called, oh, they don't want us to win. But then at the same time, we're doing it to ourselves. We're destroying ourselves. And we see it throughout our culture. We see it throughout history, period. From, from the beginning to the, to, the, to the present, we see it all the time. You know, and it's like we're not able to, this is another thing I don't think. I don't think we really comprehend. We're not even able to. We don't even I don't even know if we even justify it, but we 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 make we know we can't stop the weather. Right. We know we can't stop the weather. We know we can't stop climate change if that's the case. But we can prevent or we can. Yeah, we can prevent certain issues where we have. Availability. To move forward. Now let me explain this. For example. I live in this cold ass place called Denver, Colorado. Right? In Alaska come to mind. Now we have technology right now. Where they can actually put. Like heated coils within the. They can put heated coils within our streets. Within our sidewalks. With the, even the, the roofs of the homes. Hence Alaska. With all that, all that goddamn snow falling on, <laughs> on the roof. And you want to get up there and shovel the snow off. 
look, we got technology where we can put these particular heat coils within our structures where we don't have, we can melt the snow away. But do you think they, do you think this government want to do that? Do you think they want to, they, they, they want you to be safe? They want you to be, um, not, you know, not buying or purchasing or, you know, yeah, not buying or purchasing more shit that they keep making that don't work. It may work for a few weeks and then all of a sudden it's broken. Look at the shovels. That's just an example right there. Shovels are not made to ex exist anymore. They're not even made to last anymore. They break. They come apart. And then they want you to come back and purchase it again. Are we seeing a trend? Are we not getting this within our culture? When you have as mass, massive and massive people just constantly going to these stores, constantly going to get, constantly going to get, constantly spending, constantly spending. And we call it conspiracy theories. When somebody's actually addressing some of the issues that we have been going for the last, I would say the last 40 years. In the last 40 years. Because we talk about this all the time. Just think about it. Most people are purchasing product. We're purchasing food like unrampant these days. You know, we might go to the store, what, three, four times a week? <laughs> Just for some product that, we, what, that we've been indulging. And the, and the food, food is, like I said, food is not even food anymore. Food is snacks. <laughs> food is snacks and then the portion that they're giving you these days or the portions that you're available to get are not as much especially when you got big ass families right right think about it think about it we was a family of five three th me my siblings and my parents right sibling of five and i don't even recall us going to the stores you know probably maybe once a month once a month and this is in the 80s you know what I'm saying? Once a month. Now it's just overwhelming. It's literally overwhelming now how many times we're visiting. But we call these conspiracy theories, right? We don't think about the degression that we have been as a, as a people. The only thing is progressing is the technology and the ignorance of the people. That's the only thing that's progressing, <laughs> <laughs> the ignorance because it's like we want to stay ignorant we rather stay ignorant to the causes to the issues that's going on to the issues that is going on nothing intended no puns the issues that are going on as my brother would say you can't handle the truth Conspiracy versus statistics with theories in mind. Now, let me break down some of the similar words that you may hear within the conspiracy community when you're talking David Icke, Jordan Maxwell, Peter Joseph. You know what I'm saying? Even my brother... Um, Frasco out there in um with the the the, Vin the Venus project. We can't even feel that. And that that brother created a whole environment that's off the grid that's working with the universe conspiracy theories. Now, let me go into these terms, certain terms, plot, scam, plan, the Kaaba plotting the mechanism collaboration. Now, if 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 you feel me, a lot of these terms are very positive too, right? They're very positive too. They can have a negative connection to it because it's what you value. It's how you value and or how you associate that value with that term. You feel me? I don't claim I know everything, but it is some things that I question on my daily daily habits, my daily environments, my daily understanding. Because if you're not asking the question, somebody's doing it for you. 
And you're not going to like the results. Let me let me keep it real with you. You're not going to like the results, especially if they're not looking forward to helping you truly. Because this government, they have never been in that business. Even Thomas Jefferson. Yes, Thomas Jefferson told you guys way back when he was the third president of the so-called United I don't even, it's ununited. This place has been ununited for a long time, brothers and sisters. For a long time. The conspiracy theory is for real. <laughs> With some fake ass statistics that's calling, oh, the American dream. I am the American dream. A black man. I'm a multi-millionaire. I live in a white neighborhood with a just expansion of all these ideas and great things. No violence happens in my neighborhood. I live in this illusion. <laughs> and we don't have no problems around our country, around our neighborhood. Around our communities. All these fucking cops getting shot up. All these cops shooting up motherfuckers. Then it, all of a sudden everybody matters now. Black lives matter. Blue lives. Green lives. Yellow lives. <laughs> but it's a conspiracy. But are we wondering where this conspiracy is coming from? Where are these ideas and concepts on the psychological on the mind altering the disinformation, the psychosis, conspiracy theories versus statistics. Now, let's go on over to your lovely word statistics where the CDC and all the FDA and all these other bullshit companies, even your boy, Bill Gates, that dude, not even him, but whoever's been promoting him, pushing him, engaging, not just him, but his organization known as Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the biggest crooks. Are one of the biggest crooks in the game. We just see the face. We don't know what CDC look like. We don't know what the FDA look like. And they're all in the bed together. My brothers and sisters. Yes. They're all in the bed together. You're wondering why all these so-called regulations. Mandates. And all this other bullshit. Telling you what you need to do. How you need to live. What you need to look like. What you need to be. Uh, how much money you making? All this discrimination shit. Hmm. <laughs> huh? All this, uh, let's separate, right? Well, and I'm, I'm good for that. I don't mind separating. I'd be fine with that shit. Long as I'm able to do what I need to be doing, period. Hands down. That'd be fine. Elijah Muhammad had it the best. Honorable Elijah Muhammad had it the best. Separate this motherfuckers. Malcolm X said it too. Separated, but he did change his mind later. Malcolm X, he did change his mind later. But I, we see the benefit right now. It ain't even about black and white. It's now, now you want to uh, the unvaccinated and the vaccinated and all this other dumb shit they keep creating, and racism been going on since they have created the the caste system, right? The caste system always been there. If that's the case, the caste system was there before the race or the the slavery situation. Think about it. If we claiming that these so-called uh, civilizations been around all these thousands and thousands of years, ask the question, brothers and sisters. Ask the question. This shit been going on for a long time. We just haven't been addressing the so-called United States been ignoring the shit. But then you want to create all these atmospheres when you got all these politicians making billions of dollars. All these new billionaires that's just popping up from out of nowhere. They don't give a fuck about you or me. And they never did. Talking about some mass mandates and all this shit. We got mass mandates going on everywhere and everybody's fucking catching the, the so-called so -called virus or whatever they claiming it is. This virus that's made for your body. That's the funny thing. The virus is made for your body. <laughs> 
Then they want to give you a vaccine because the vaccine is the one that got motherfuckers doing this shit. Wondering why they got the heart. All this other crazy shit. And we wondering what's going on. Why they want to push this shit 24-7, seven days a week. Forcing you to go get the shit. Conspiracy theory or what? Statistics. You see how they lied too? CDC lied about this whole scenario too. They ain't lying about their PCRs tests. What's new? What is new? That's the funny thing is, what is new? They've been, they've been fucking you up. They've been fucking you real good. All the news media, they all in the bed the same. They talk the same shit. You listen to all of them. They saying the same thing. Repeating the process. It's just about the ones who's waking the fuck up and like, oh yeah, this is done. I'm done. I see what the real issue is. When you really start putting things in perspective or when you start thinking about issues, asking questions. I forgot who who came up. It was a term somebody had said. When you start asking questions, you start engaging in certain elements. Certain elements start going up. Your level of consciousness or your level of intelligence is raised when you start to think, when you start to ask the questions. You feel me? And when you have when you when you have all these measures of what intelligence is, yeah, you get fucked up too. Cuz you thinking what everybody else is thinking, right? You thinking they're putting all these borders around you or these stupid ass walls that they they want to build around Mexico. If that's the case, build a wall around America. <laughs> right? If that's the case, build a wall around America in general. North America, South America, however you want to do it. We don't need no walls. We already got the walls, the mental walls. The mental walls is fucking us up. Conspiracy theories versus statistics. And we can talk statistics all fucking day. We can talk conspiracies all fucking day. The one thing about it, usually it got some truth in it. But you know what? Statistics is really played for the better, right? What they say, the winners write the history. <laughs> Y'all not feeling me. Y'all think I'm a conspiracy theorist because I ask the fucking questions. I'm like, how the fuck you going to create something that's killing me? You going to kill my body and then you got the nerve to keep killing me. And then you and then you got the nerve to not you trip when I ask the question. Motherfucker, get the hell out of here. Don't make no fucking sense. And this is what our society has been incorporating. The more ignorant we are, the more stupid the processes are, and all these engagements with this fucking government, they got an excuse to do anything and everything to you by taking your liabilities, your liberties, your rights, motherfuckers, your rights. Your boy even was, to, I, I, we say this all the time. Bob Marley was saying this back in the day. This was in the 70s. Get up, stand up, stand up for your right. Peter Tosh and many other g Jamaican reggae groups, however you want to look at it. Prior to them, <laughs> even, even some of this gangster, even some of this gangster uh, raps. Rappers was actually talking about keeping your own, staying on your own, loyalty, understanding that. We ain't even got that no more. We seeing that going away slowly but surely. Like I say, I use that frog analogy. We've been sitting up here bullshitting. We've been worrying about what the fuck Michael Jackson and everybody else, uh, Kim Kardashian and all these motherfuckers is doing. Your fake ass celebrities, and then you then you wondering why they ain't they staying fake, keeping the illusion going on, but we we fall into the illusion. That's the funny thing. We fall into the illusion, and then we got the nerve to be tripping because it's a conspiracy theory. Well, the conspiracy theory that this dude Alex Jones got kicked off his network because they was like, "Fuck that! We don't want you in here because you questioning you questioning the status quo." You opening up a can of worms, as the brothers would say. Think about that. You're opening up a can of worms. Worms are not in cans. <laughs> okay, people. 
We gotta start at we we gotta start getting to the root, like the brother used to say back in the day. Shout out to you, uh, Sean. Good. Get to the root. Get to the root of shit. That's the thing. We get to the root of it, then we can extract the root, take the root out of the fucking ground. Then we can dissect it and do what we need to do. Formulate it into a bicep, tricep. <laughs> Where it's actually a dress where the muscle is actually working for you, not against you, right? Conspiracy theories. Verse. Statistics. Now, let's go into statistics. Some of the ideology of the extraterrestrials. <laughs> so, now, statistics, we know... And we're starting to see more and more of this shit being pressured upon you, right? Pushing you to the limit. Pushing to you to overextension, overexertion, as they would say, overexertion. That's what we're doing. They're pushing us to overexertion where people are flipping the fuck out. The psychosis, the psychological aspect, the mind altering. You're putting people in a fight or flight situation, period, hands down. COVID-19, whatever you want to call this bullshit. Articom, CBCOM, CDB, Triformers, whatever you, term you want to use. Whatever this so-called virus that we keep manipulating and keep playing the fuck with and oh yeah let me it's not it haven't hit america yet but oh yeah we just hit america now and it's just over ramping so we want to do some mandates we want to we want to lock people down again therefore we locking people down therefore you got these kids flipping the fuck out okay i'm tired of my fucking parents let me start blasting my parents i'm tired of this bullshit Hence why we seeing it in Colorado, motherfuckers shooting up cops. That's not a coincidence, people. This shit been going on since day one up in this motherfucker. It's the drugs. It's not the drugs. It's part of it. <laughs> but it's the psychological ramifications. It's the psychological limits that you're doing to the people, period. You got little fucking kids walking around here with fucking masks on, looking like some crook. Looking like Shakespeare's fucking Romeo and Juliet bullshit. Or Othello, whatever one you want to take. Your mask is a disguise, right? That's what they keep claiming. Your mask is a disguise. Your mask is a disguise. You got all these brothers and sisters. It's kind of funny too. When you even look at like Jordan Maxwell, um, Bill Cooper, and all these brothers who's actually been enlightening the mind or awakening the mind, how they're living. And what they was doing. Even when you go back to Carl Jung. Carl Jung, he, 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 was, he decided to live, get the fuck away from the people. He was living on a little island. This dude was living on a little island. Literally, in a little cabin. No electricity. That brother get his own electricity, started his own fire and all that stuff. You know? And that's what we need to seem like. That's what we need to go back to. We need to go back to simplicity. Getting back to our fundamentals. We need to read. We need to stop allowing this government to give you what you want. It, well, they're not even giving you what you want. They're giving you what they think you want. Therefore, you, it's causing the problem. Faster food. Oh, I can make I can make vegetable peels. Put it in a fucking vegetable peel, and I pop a peel. And then we got problems in our kidneys because our kidneys haven't been cleaned out. You gotta see what I'm saying. It's one or the other. This government is so fucked up. They'll they'll give you a stimulus check, then they tell you, oh, we need that money back. Watch income tax. Watch you see what you got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's to stimulate the, the economy. It ain't stimulating none of this economy. The only thing it's stimulating is stimulating these big ass corporations that's creating more bullshit products so you can go purchase them and throw them away. Now, think about this. The landfills. Is that a conspiracy theory, too? The landfills all around this country, all around the world. 
But I know this country, we're pretty wasteful. We waste a lot of shit and look at you like you crazy. I, I used to work for Goodwill. Shit you not. Goodwill, a big ass warehouse. I'm talking about the warehouse is probably big as Walmart. <laughs> and they had just shit up in there. Just everybody's shit. And then they got the nerve to sell the shit to you. They get it donated freely. And then they got the nerve to sell it back to you. This shows you where the mindset is. You're talking about a nonprofit organization, so called. Been around over a hundred years. They keep selling you on that bullshit too. Oh, yeah, we've been around for 50 years and this and that. That don't mean you're a good quality company. Am I staring up some problems here? No. Am I clear? Or oh, y'all not just feeling me because I'm not I'm not syndicated. You know, I'm not syndicating on Spotify or Apple iPhone and all this other bullshit. But when the truth hits you, you know the truth. The truth resonate with you. That's why I know what, what they talking about on these vaccine shit. That ain't truth. It's fucking people up. And we seeing more and more. Think about it. When you have a pool of 300 million people. 300 million people, so, so-called in the so-called United States of America. And it's probably more than that. And they're experimenting. Yeah, they, that, that vaccine is experimenting on your ass the first trial. So they don't know what the fuck is going to happen. You coming around, you talking about you can't feel shit. Your heart's all fucked up. You got other problems, can't barely breathe. <laughs> and and they, they think I'm crazy. They think I'm crazy. Y'all haven't seen shit. Y'all haven't seen shit. And the funny thing is, they've been just killing us, just slaughtering the people, just slaughtering them. You talk about, they, they make Hiroshima, I mean, yeah, you, they make Hiroshima look beautiful. They make the Jewish Holocaust look beautiful. They make the slave trade look beautiful. Because the ignorance. And it's funny, too, because we were just watching, me and my girl were just watching, um, the the um what they called them the it's a marvel a new marvel show the essentials or the something eventuals or something i don't even know what the fuck they were but the thing is they would they were so called protecting the people from these deviant um entities right these deviant entities come to find out the deviant entities were entities that was created by the creator Right. To combat the same situation as we do right now. That's what I'm saying. Look at the Bill Gates bullshit. Bill and Melinda Gates. They they back both sides of the game. And then you're wondering why the fucking thing don't move any forward. It don't move forward. When you own. Think about this. This motherfucker, Bill Gates, or the connection he has. He owns all the PCs. He pretty much run the PC game. So he knows what the fuck is going on with the people. And then we talking about artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence. All artificial intelligence is, is just a computer to connect everything together. That's all it is. Connecting everything together. Realizing that all the thoughts and all the energy that is typed into these motherfucking machines is going into it. So therefore they can pull all these concepts and ideas together to create the mastermind. Right? Because that's all it is. All AI is, is a mastermind. What Napoleon Hill was talking about back in the day. Back in the 20s. Prior to that. They knew this technology. That's why they created a technological aspect or approach. And keeping us dumb. Even though we are the intelligent ones. We are the, t we are the computers. We are the artificial intelligence. We create. The thing is, we know how to navigate. We, we, we have feelings. We have thoughts. We have, okay, I know I'm going to kill a bunch of motherfuckers. But I'm going to do this. And maybe I can go around it this way. You know, I mean, even when you're doing like, even this book I read, and I'm going to reread it here shortly too. The Unknown, the un Man, the Unknown by Alex Crawley. Now, he was a, he was, um, 
he was in a, a, a physicist. I think he was a physicist. He did create some things that actually created the x-ray to look into certain um, areas within the body to discover certain things, too. So he's well known. He's an inventor. He's a Nobel Peace Prize winner um, back in the 30s, I believe the 30s, <clears throat> Alex Carell. And he wrote this book called The Man, Man. The Unknown, and it's a deep book because he actually refers to um, George Washington Carver as one of the the experts in the game back in the day. And we're talking back in the day because if you, if you know your history, you know George Washington Carver was an inventor too, a black inventor, right? But y'all, the, the thing is, look, the whole point is connecting the dots, right? That's what we do here at You Are The Gym, connect the fucking dots, why certain things are the way it is, putting things in perspective. If you keep your body, look, if you keep your body in a more healing state or a homostasis state, you don't have to worry about the alcron, the sin. Well, the symptoms and everything, if it do hit you, it ain't going to do nothing to you. <laughs> You feel me? It's going to be bypassed like a regular cold. few days, it's done. It's Audi. You feel me? But the whole point is creating an environment, creating a whole environment within your body, within your mind, within your soul, the less stress. Think about this. Everybody was stressing the fuck out during the holiday season, Christmas, all that other shit. That's a lot of stress going on. That's a lot of energy that's on a negative down spur. That's a lot of that's the thing, too. People don't really pay attention we got a lot of negative energy out here that's circulating that need to be gone, that we need to get rid of. And you know what's causing that? It's called fear. You know, when, you, when you're when you hearing your media, when you're hearing your social media, uh, Twitter, everybody should be off that fucking thing. Twitter don't even make no fucking sense, period. Oh, well, I can get right to the people and I can get right to the point. But see, that's the problem with Twitter. That's why I do these long forums on my show. Fuck, fuck them 25 minutes and 20 minutes and all this other shit. No, I want to give you some concrete information that you can use, that you can apply to your life. Yeah, you could take out some of the bullshit. Maybe the, maybe the terms that I'm using. But at the same time, I want you to start engaging into your life, taking more control, taking more advantage, taking more responsibility. Fuck what this government is telling you what to do, how to do it, when to do it. Even with these jobs, fuck these jobs. These jobs have been just putting us in a slave mentality more and more, taking every right. They want you to uh, be the culture, be the, be the fucking store. Yeah. Don't have no consciousness. Oh, you can't have feelings for that particular associate. You can't do this. You can't do that. They're creating the environment to be a negative environment. Conspiracy theory. Statistics. Coming and calling all these fucking statistics. They don't know the future. They can't predict the future. Period. Hands down. Them fucking futurists been fucking up the whole, since they've been creating the shit. What's his name? Er, uh, Edgar Crassy. A lot of the shit he was talking about was bullshit. Was bullshit. Yeah, he may had some some skills, some technology, kind of like the, the mindset of uh, uh, Tesla come to mind. Nikola Tesla come to mind. Yeah, he had the ability to, to reframe and create certain entities and ideas within his mind and be able to duplicate it. And it's a lot of people like that. When you use your mind, when you use your imagination, brothers and sisters. But how many times are we doing that? Because we're so caught up with all this other crap that's around us. Toys and all this other stuff. Entertainment. I can't even get with the sports. The sports is so bad. It's so predictable. Is that a conspiracy theory? When you got sports football, you got these quarterbacks breaking everybody's record. Okay, but now let's let's put it in perspective. You got them breaking everybody's record, but they don't. Nobody's blocking them. There's no need to block them anymore because they can't get hit no more. So they're they're able to. Execute all the passes, everything they need to do. 
kind of like basketball too. You got Curry in there. Nobody playing no fucking defense. You, you just let the dude out there free, and he gonna just hit it. Bow, bow, bow. No defense. No defense. That's what what's what's happening in all the different sports. There's no defense anymore. But that don't mean nothing to you, cause y'all love y'all conspiracies. <laughs> y'all love them. Y'all love the government. We got Pelosi, a multi-millionaire. Shit, she probably a billionaire. Oh, we love her. All oh, these stupid ass people. Biden, he don't even know where his ass is at. Yeah, all of them. Donald Trump, all the motherfuckers in, in the government. I don't give a fuck. I'm not s- sympathizing with none of them motherfuckers. None of them. Period. From Obama to all them motherfuckers. Everybody who was up in that office is full of shit. Period. And all they've been doing is controlling your ass. Period. And they're puppets. They're puppets to keep the status quo. You see Kanye West. You see all the... Look, the rappers can't even come back. I'm listening to... <laughs> I'm listening to the Snoop and all them. All respect. But it, it still comes a quality. It still comes an understanding where you actually manifest and are wanting to improve your game. Wanting to improve your game. Not talking about some other dumb shit that don't even have nothing to do with anything. You still telling me you gangster? Nigga, it ain't even, you shouldn't even be on that stupid shit. You should be on, how can I help as many people as I can? I got my money right. How can I help as many people as I can take them to the next level? That's what it should be, Dr. Dre. Y'all coming out here, oh, I've been making these albums, boom, boom, boom. I'm still the best. I'm the, who cares? Egos, these motherfuckers got egos that are bigger than, bigger than Hiroshima, Mount Everest, egos, just, dude, who cares, you gonna have a million haters just as you have a billion <laughs> likes, it doesn't matter, or does it matter, maybe to them, huh, see, cause it's all about understanding who you are. That's really what all these podcast shows about is understanding who you are, what you want. Fuck what everybody else want to give you, if that's the case, or what you need to be doing, or how you need to be getting down. You know what you need to be doing. And the first question is, or the first thing you need to do is address it yourself. You need to address your issues. What you need to move on to be able to benefit you and your family. Meditation, focusing, and being a better focuser. Completing the job. Completing the projects that you have. I got a few projects. I'm like, okay, I got to complete them. This year is done. 2022, this is my year. I'm going to become the best man I can ever be ever, anytime, anywhere, any place, period. The world is mine, right? Now I'm starting to sound like uh, Scarface. The world is mine. (laughs) But the world is yours too. When you take control, when you take responsibility, when you take accountability, them two words I've been driving through the Driving through these podcast shows for years. Even when we was on that sovereignty shit. That autonomy shit. That sentient being shit. Right? That you should be understanding within you anyway. Conspiracies. Statistics. Theories. So now. With that being said. It's a term that a lot of people don't really talk about too much. But the first time I heard that term was um, Anthony, Tony Robbins, Anthony Robbins, the motivational speaker, reframing, right? Uh, Neurolinguistic programming tactic, reframing. See, these are the things we got to be starting to 
do within us, within us, even when it comes to like business wise business, some cases you got to throw all that bullshit away. They always telling you this is funny, too, especially in the fitness industry, because you got all these people now. They always selling you on how to market yourself, how to become yourself, how to be. Look, that's their system. It worked for them. You have to create your own, keep it real with you, utilize and simplify shit these days. Stop making something things complicated. Like I'm not a big, I don't give a fuck about a Facebook ad. I might not put an Instagram ad out there, even though I will post some shit. But the thing is, I'm not caught up in all these different they, they keep talking about the marketing aspect. Look, I went to school for marketing, visual communications marketing. I got a degree in visual communications, right? Period. That doesn't mean anything, right? Because you're not, one of the thing is, is about branding you. What are you? It's me. I'm selling you guys. You feel me? It's me. My attitude, my mind, my energy. That's the purpose. That's the point. You feel what I'm saying? And look, I'm not trying to get validation from you. I do this for my purposes. Keep it real with you. This is actually to benefit me because I can see what I'm actually going on within this particular pineal gland or understanding. Because the psychological conspiracy theories is real. It's real. And we make it real. And sometimes the funny thing is we keep things in illusion status too. We keep it where we don't want to, we don't want to face the reality of what the real shit is about. Just like this so-called, uh, this bullshit. We don't face the facts. We're not, it's kind of funny too. Because they haven't even said the shit right. They haven't even told you. Get your, get your life right. Start working out. Start educate. Start exercising. Start taking care of your fucking body. It's not going to benefit you. You're still smoking. You're still doing all this dumb shit that you was doing prior to the COVID scenario. It's not going to do you no better. All it's going to do is make the symptoms worse. Period. Hands down. So stop fucking complaining. Wake the fuck up. Get out the coma, as me and my brother used to say back in the day. Get out the fucking coma. Wake the fuck up. Period. The psychological conspiracy theories. Now, there was a book written a few years ago called The Psychological of Conspiracy Theories. And the author is, uh, where's the author's name? Well, one of the authors' name is, his last name is Douglas. He wrote the book in 2017. And the funny thing is, all this stuff, all this information has been circulating. It's just not mass media. It's not in your CNN. It's not in your MSNBC. It's not in your your, uh, bullshit Fox network and all these other crappy media programs that's been keeping you programmed to keep you deaf, dumb, blind. But see, don't take me wrong. I'm not saying nothing new. I'm saying a lot of things that's been said before. It's just I'm using the platforms that I have access to that I can engage or that I can talk about or express my thoughts. Questions that I'm sure you're going you're thinking about, but you're not expressing them. (laughs) You may be expressing them on some other via Facebook or something like that. But like I said, I'm about to get rid of all my social media because all this media shit is just as garbage. This Facebook guy, what is his name? Zuck- Zuckerberg. He pulling big pranks. Metaverse. And he owns everything. He owns Instagram. He owns WhatsApp. He owns uh, Facebook. He owns many other different platforms that you don't know you're savvy to. And it's causing a problem, keep it real with you. It's causing a problem because everybody want to live an illusion. They want to live a life they don't have or not willing to sacrifice to get there. Let me say it that way. Because we all live pretty good when we're a fantasy living in that fantasy bullshit football games and fantasy uh, games 
that I can be, I can look like this and I can be this way, this way and don't have no kind of personality. You notice that with people don't have no personality. That's that reminds me of the millennials. <laughs> they don't have no personality, always following somebody else's bullshit. And then got the nerve and then and it'd be extreme shit, too. That's another thing. It's so extreme where it's like, dude, you ain't even thought about the scenario. What you doing? How it affecting everybody else around you. But that's another world. And I think I'm going to wrap it up here. But I appreciate you guys tuning in, tuning up, waking up because it's time to wake up. If you haven't downloaded my shows yet or got access to any of my shows, you can always email me at you, you are the gym at gmail.com and I'll send you the shows personally. Um, I got a website at youarethegymlive.com where we have access to articles. I've been posting different articles on certain situations, certain remedies, certain tactics, certain understanding, certain hacks. If you want to get your body right, Get your mind right. Get your finances right. Get your game up. You know, get your game prospering. Fuck what everybody else think. I got an answer for you. If you really want to take your game to the next level. I don't need no bitches. I don't need no no excuses. Period. Because I'm straight up. I ain't got time for the bullshit. Because there's a lot of it out there. Trust me. But on that note. Y'all have a great day. Stay strong. If you want to hear more where this coming from, you can always go to you are the gym live dot com forward slash podcast. Y'all have a great, powerful, good, happy, lovely day. And I'm out of here, my brothers and sisters. Hotel. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message.